Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to build the FT Eurofighter Chuck Lighter. The FT Eurofighter is really unique because it has something called four wings on the front of the aircraft. These four wings help give it extra stability and high angles of attack and also incredible maneuverability. The items we're gonna need for our Eurofighter is gonna be the main wing and body, the fuselage, the two nose doublers, and the nose wing. Let's go and get our materials in order and we'll get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the main body to the side here and we're gonna focus on these doublers. Now you're gonna notice that when we put these doublers on, it's gonna line up perfectly with the bottom and also the very top. Take your time and look at where it lines up. And when you're happy with that, you can flip it 180 degrees and we're only gonna put glue on the outer perimeter. Just gonna skip over that little tiny fold right in the middle there. And we're gonna go right down, line everything up with the rear fuselage and the bottom. You're gonna notice if you do that, the center wing cutout lines up perfectly. Press this in place, give it about 30 seconds to dry, and then we can flip it over. Once this is nice and dry, we'll just take our little nose weight piece here and we'll push down on this and we'll pull out the center wing cutout. Now it's really important at this point that we install our nose weight. You can build the whole entire airplane and it can look wonderful, but without the proper center of gravity, it's simply not going to fly. For that, we're going to do just a quick test fit here, make sure it lays down nice and easy. Once we're happy with that, a little drop of glue on the top and also on the bottom, that's all you need. We'll place this right down in place and press it in. Same process now as before. We're going to go ahead and lay this right over. We're going to check for alignment. That looks great. We can even kind of cheat a little bit and Pull this up a little bit so it's easier to grab. There we go. And once we're happy with that, we'll place a bead of glue right around the perimeter once again, skipping that center cutout. Right back on the table, a little wiggle back and forth is all we need. And then press it in place and let it dry. Remove the center wing cutout just like we did on the other side, and now our fuselage is ready for its wing. With the wing, you're gonna notice there's a couple score cuts here. We have the one main one that was in our kit. We also have our Elevon score cuts. These are gonna be facing down. Now what's really important about this section here is this is where actually it bends up on the fuselage giving the front four wings a positive angle of attack. This helps establish the proper glide slope. On the rear of our fuselage, you're gonna see two tabs here. And the easiest way to place this in is to hold the fuselage sideways until you get about a quarter or half of the way back, and then you can gently rotate it up 90 degrees. We're gonna use the table as our friend, and we're gonna line up the forewing right through the notches here. Take your time with that. And with a little bit of down pressure, it's gonna start sliding them nice and easy. Push this all the way to the front, and once you've gone back far enough, you'll see that the two rear tabs will engage with the slot. Next, we're gonna sight down the body to make sure that our wings and our fuselage are perpendicular to each other. Once we're happy with that, we can lock in the rear tail on the top and on the bottom, the bead of glue. Once we place the glue on the rear of the fuselage, pinch it shut with your fingers, but make sure that the wing and the tail are perpendicular to each other as the glue dries. The airframe of the FT Eurofighter is now complete and we're ready for our first glides. But if you throw this right now, unfortunately, it's not gonna fly as good as what you could make it. And that is by adding a little bit of what we call reflex to the tail section. Aircrafts with swept back wings, flying bodies, oftentimes need something called reflex to cause a little bit of a conflict to get the right angle of attack as it flies through the air. You can adjust these more or less to get the best glide slope. And once you're happy with that glide slope, you can lock it in with either a piece of tape or a drop of glue. Let's go ahead and take this out and give it a test flight. All right, so we're out here on our shop here. We're just gonna do some quick test gliding. Keep in mind, if you're flying these outside, anytime you have wind, you wanna be able to launch this into the wind. If you're flying in a gymnasium, it's a lot of fun to get high up on the bleachers and launch it so you can get the best glide slope possible. So I got a little bit of reflex here. I'm gonna to toss it to my good friend Dave here, and we're gonna see how it goes. Anytime you're tossing a chuck lighter, you don't wanna launch it like a football. You actually wanna throw it more like a dart. So focus on where you wanna throw it to and make sure that nose is always pointing towards your target and it'll glide great every time. All right, here we go. Something therapeutic about it, huh? <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more reflex on our elevons in the back. Just a little bit more, there we go. 
Much better. Now you may notice that there's a little hook here. You can take a rubber band, but keep in mind the faster you launch it, the more you may need to adjust those elevons because the extra speed is gonna cause it to pitch up. One last throw and I think we got it. That's perfect. <laughs> All right, friends, thanks so much for being part of the Flight Test family. Thanks for watching us through Flight Test Tech. Look forward to seeing your builds.